Why did they build a gym on Wall Street, and why is it sideways? Well, I'm not going to take the time to put it right side up. What looks to be one of the harder ones? Say letter E on the bottom. Letter E on the bottom, maybe, which is 1 and 5 sixths divided by negative 3 and 3 tenths. Everybody see where that one is? All right. So, can you do division of fractions? Can you do division of fractions? Yes. Well, you can, but you have to manipulate them first. First thing is, do we ever multiply or divide mixed numbers? No, we have to turn them into improper fractions. So to turn a mixed number into an improper fraction, we multiply 6, the denominator, times the whole number. We multiply that, and then we add the numerator. So 6 times 1, six. plus 5 more, 11, and leave the denominator the same. I'm going to leave it as division right now. Time, divided by negative 10 times 3, 30, plus 3 more, so we have 33 tenths. Now, uh, there's an old saying, ours is not to reason why, just invert and multiply. What we're actually going to do is use the multiplicative inverse, so we're going to use the inverse operation otherwise known as multiplication. And then, because we're going to use an inverse operation, we're going to use the multiplicative inverse immediately following that operator. So that's why we can take the number immediately following the inverse operation and follow it with the inverse number. So we use the inverse operation followed by the multiplicative inverse. That's why we don't do division of fractions, because we use an inverse operation. Now if we turn this into one fraction, 11 is prime, 6 is 2 times 3, times negative 1, 10 is 2, times 5, 33 is 3, times 11. Find your big ones, so 11 goes away, that's 1, 2 goes away, that's 2, we have negative 5 ninths, because 3 times 3 is 9. Questions? Does it make more sense why we flip the fraction when we're dividing? Because we use an inverse operation and the multiplicative inverse, which we've always called a reciprocal. But now that we call it a multiplicative inverse, it makes more sense.